If you've recently moved from Windows 10 or an earlier version of Windows to Windows 11, you may notice there's a few things different. This video should just provide a couple of basic tips and hopefully some things that you may find helpful or informative. When you first load into Windows 10, you'll see this screen. Probably the most jarring change is that the Start menu has moved from being left-hand oriented to being in the center. The overall composition of the Start Menu page has changed somewhat as well, with pinned apps up here and recommendations which will automatically populate as you use the operating system down here. There are some default apps pinned to the Start. You have your Search, Desktops, which allow you to have multiple different desktops with different apps open on them to switch between different tasks. You have your Widgets menu, Chat, which is Teams, now built in for free to Windows 11. You have your File Explorer, Microsoft Edge, which is now entirely replacing Internet Explorer, and the Microsoft Store. Now the first thing that most people notice coming from an earlier version of Windows is that the Windows 11 taskbar is now centered rather than being oriented to the left. If you want to change this, all you'll need to do is right click on the taskbar, hit Taskbar Settings, and scroll down to the bottom of this page. Down here, you'll find Taskbar Behaviors and Taskbar Alignment. Click here, change alignment to left, and you're all set. Another thing you may run into when moving to Windows 11 is that the right-click menus now offer a little bit less information and actions. However, if you do want to access something closer to a Windows 10 style right-click menu, all you'll need to do is, after right-clicking, go down here and click Show More Options. And this will bring up a menu that you may be more familiar with. Coming from a previous version of Windows, you may be accustomed to opening the Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar. However, now in Windows 11, that option and many others from that context menu have been removed. However, there are two quick ways that you can still get at the Task Manager. The first, and my recommended way, is to use the keyboard shortcut, Control, Shift, Escape, and that will open the Task Manager directly. However, if you want a mouse-only GUI option, you can also right-click on the Start menu and hit Task Manager. There are also a number of other useful entries here that are worth keeping in mind. A positive change in Windows 11 is the much improved snipping tool. Probably the easiest way to access this is through the keyboard shortcut Windows Shift S, which will open this menu here. You can simply drag this square over the area you wish to take a screenshot of, and it will automatically be copied to your clipboard. The other basic options presented here are the freeform snip, which lets you draw whatever shape you would prefer, the Windows Snip tool, which lets you pick a specific window, and of course, the full screen snip. Another big change in Windows 11 is how the settings, and specifically quick settings, are handled. If you right click on network, or sound, you will still receive the context menus appropriate to those settings. However, if you left click, it will bring up the quick settings panel. From here, you have access both to all settings, which opens the primary Windows 11 settings menu, and also to the quick edit settings. From here, you can customize the options that it shows, add additional, and confirm. While we're discussing settings, you may also find it worth it to take a look at Windows 11's themes. If you go here, go to All Settings, or from Start, Settings, and go down to Personalization. Now, other versions of Windows have certainly had themes as well, so this is not strictly speaking new. However, there have been some significant improvements, and the themes are overall a little bit more cohesive and polished. You have the default, dark mode, and a variety of others of your choosing as well.
Beyond that, there's also a reasonable number of customization options so that you can tune a theme to your specific preferences. That's all for this video. If there's other things you'd like to see included, feel free to leave them in a comment down below. And thank you for watching.